Welcome to week six. Go, Go Hawks! Hawks. everyone welcome to week six thank you ladies for the introduction greatly appreciate it that was awesome that was awesome uh before we go any further let's uh let's get to this week's sponsor shall we uh not just this week's sponsor i think for the rest of the season actually the will be sponsored by patch.com patch.com folks that is that is a wonderful website where you can get local news and information about what's going on in your town. For example, right now I can tell you that in Burnsville, the Rack Pub and Grill is coming soon. How do I know that? I know that because I visited Patch.com. Patch.com is your source for local knowledge that you can't live without. Check it out. I'm sure you all enjoy it. Uh, let's get to it, shall we? Now last week, I owe you all an apology. Last week, I was absolutely exhausted. It was the Admiral's birthday. Uh, it's even been suggested that I, I kind of mailed it in a little bit. Um, sorry about that. Love the feedback, though. Feedback is always welcome. So, you know, I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. Uh, here's hoping that this week's submission is uh, better received. Um, boy, there's lots to talk about this week. Uh, but before we get into any, uh, any, any fantasy football type stuff, I want to talk about Monday night, the last Monday night football game. I want to talk about the Jets versus Houston. Uh, it was the 666th Monday Night Football game. Tim Tebow's team, Tim Tebow's team lost, which just goes to show you that it's possible that God isn't as big a football fan as we all think he is. Hi oh, all right, bad jokes out of the way. Uh, by the way, after the Monday Night Football game, Terrell Owens, this is true. Um, don't ask me why I'm following you on Twitter, but I am. He tweeted that. Uh, to the Jets, saying that he was ready anytime they needed him, and that they should contact his agent. You know, even T.O. can see just how bad the Jets' receiving core is, uh, and he was cut by Seattle. So what's that tell you about it? Yeah, I'm not saying that the Jets are bad, but uh, well, I, I guess I am just saying that the Jets are bad. Um, the Jets, folks. If you've got anybody on your fantasy football team that's from the Jets, and I know some of you do. I know some of you are rostering Sean Green. Um, and uh, Stephen Hill will get into that later, um, and Joe McKnight will definitely get into that later. Uh, they are a, a a desolate fantasy football wasteland, and if you've got players from those teams, you should drop them in a hurry. I don't even understand why you have them. Mark Sanchez is horrible. He's the worst quarterback ever. Uh, and that's saying a lot. It even says a lot for me to even say this. As much as I can't stand Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow was the best quarterback on that team. Well, strike that. McElroy is the best quarterback on that team, but he's never going to get a chance to play, which means it's Tim Tebow's show, people. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to this week's hot topic. Shall we, ladies? Here's this week's hot topic. Go Hawks! Oh, that was great, ladies. It was great. You guys are awesome. So, this week's hot topic is its a little more of what the hell do y'all know that I don't know sort of thing. I mean, I took some time this week, looked at everybody's rosters, and there are a bunch of guys on your squads that are just flat out unrosterable. I'm not even talking about Chris Johnson and Des Bryant. We all got stuck with guys like that. And I'm not talking about guys who got hurt this past week, you know, injuries happen, can't, you know, you can't, you can't assume that, you know, a guy like Andre Brown is going to get hurt or, you know, RG, RG3, you just, you can't expect that sort of thing. I mean, you should expect it, but you know what I'm saying? Those guys aren't on this list. I'm talking about guys that have little to zero fantasy value whatsoever. And I've got a list. Toots, Felix Jones and Sidney Rice. I could probably rationalize Jones, but Rice... I mean, come on. And speaking of Sydney, Mad Men, we all know how much you love Russell Wilson. But no matter how much of a good NFL quarterback you think he is, he is a shitty and unrosterable fantasy QB. You know it and I know it. And Stephen Hill, Stephen Hill from the Jets, he's useless as both an NFL player and a fantasy one. 
Orb, first off, man, welcome back. Welcome back home. Check out that rack that, you know, that's coming to your town soon. Or explain to me why you have Quiz Rogers and Justin Blackman on your team. Explain that, man, because I don't understand it. And Barb, are you really expecting David Wilson to make a comeback after he fumbled the ball in week one and was immediately put into Grandpa Coughlin's doghouse? It's not going to happen. Zeus, Joe McKnight, really? Man, he's so bad. His head coach wants to move him to corner. Now the Revis is out. Not rosterable, son. No, not as a running back, not as a wide receiver, not in an IDP league as a corner. Not rosterable. Bill, you hanging on to Harry, Darius Hayward Bay because you like hyphens? What's that all about? And Tiny, man, I don't even know where to begin. We saved the worst for last. Tiny, man, it sucks. I get it. You're stuck with Chris Johnson and Dez. I got Chris in another league. I know how painful that is. But to have secret agent man Hillis and Jackie Bettle and where's my, how's my Ben Tate? Man, you just got, it's like, it's not only do you have one bad running back that you can't trade and, and can't do nothing with and can't start him, although this might be the week that he goes off, but you got just a whole bunch of useless all on one team, bro. I don't get it. So what, I just got to ask, what is it that you know that I don't know? Let's move on to this week's picks. All right, it's pick'em time, pick'em time, pick'em time. Again, don't forget to check out patch.com, patch.com. Again, local news. You can find out what's going on in your community, figure out what's important to you. Enough of this national news BS, you know, at patch.com. Going into last week, we were 16-8 and eight overall. And after going four for two in week five, the pick'em record is a stellar 20 and 10. There is no off position on the Genius Switch. Tiny versus Minnow. In an early view of this year's upcoming Sacco title, uh, I will take Tiny to beat the Mad One. I don't know how, but somehow, some way, Tiny will figure this thing out despite his unrosterable roster. Mass versus Geithner. Looks like somebody forgot to pan ahead for the bye weeks. Sorry, Mass. Geithner wins. Barb versus Big Sexy. Folks, remember when we used to make fun of Lippy for being, well, Lippy? Good times. Big Sexy wins again, and uh, somebody stop this juggernaut, huh? Break up the Lipmeister. Chop versus the odd one. Uh, it's the QB battle that stood out to me here, and so I'll take Rodgers and Chop over Orb and RG3, who may not even play this week. Chop wins. Um, yeah, it's a shame. Welcome back, though, Orb. And it's a lot easier to replace a tight end than it is to replace a quarterback. So uh, this week I'm taking Maximus, Maximus, Maximus. And finally... In a game that I am positive I'm going to lose, but since I can't pick myself to lose, I will take myself as the upset special, and here's hoping a little, a little luck falls my way. Andy luck, that is. Uh, hoping for that. That's it for this week, folks. Uh, thanks again. Hope that this week's submission is uh, better received, and as always, stay frosty. Chopper!